Bemidji State is preparing for over 200 high school jazz band students to come to the campus for Jazz Fest. 11 bands from across the region, including Canada, participate in the annual festival to learn from each other and even some area artists. For this week's In Focus, I got a sneak peek at some of the pieces that BSU's Blue Ice Jazz Band is preparing to perform. I thought it probably be a good idea to uh Go back to hit the ground running. Director and Scott Goodry is hitting the ground running. After switching positions with Professor Del Lyron, he's only been the band director since the beginning of the month. Uh, if you're going to be directing an ensemble, you have to be familiar with uh, all the titles that are in the library. And there are hundreds and hundreds of, of titles that I need to get familiar with. His predecessor has helped him pick out many of the pieces needed for their performances. Right now, the band is actively practicing about 10 titles. Rhythm have got to go. Mm, ba -da -dee -da, ba -da 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 -da. He also has many of the students to call on for guidance. The band has a very loyal group of students, some which have played in the ensemble for years. When I came here, whenever jazz band didn't conflict with my schedule, I was in jazz band. While many are quite involved in other music department groups, I'm in the wind ensemble and I'm also in brass quintet and then I do pep band here as well. And the most difficult part might be finding the time to practice. You have like your course load and then you have like all of these other bands you have to practice for as well. It's rewarding nonetheless. You just make such great bonds with everyone and you get to know people on like a really personal basis and you see them every day, which is great. Shelby Andrus says one of the highlights is being able to travel. I've been to the Jazz Education Network conference um, two years in a row now. So I was in New Orleans uh, the first week of January and I was in Louisville last year. Another incredible opportunity is the chance to play with emerging artists such as Tia Fuller and Corey Christensen for the festival. Tia is uh has a, an incredible resume to her name, not the least of which is her touring with uh, Beyonce. So she has, uh, she's been a lot of places and played in a lot of great, great places and played with a lot of great people. When it comes down to it, the best part is being able to practice your passion. I mean, there's some pretty cool um, things you get to do in jazz band, but mostly it's the playing, you know, it's the passion. <laughs> And the festival will run from February 2nd through the 4th. More information about the festival can be found on our website. That's lptv.org backslash news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.